to sexual contact, such as exposing, fondling, or intercourse. Oh my god. A sexually abused victim can be hurt in many ways. Physical harm. Sometimes sexual abuse can injure a victim's private parts. I'm sorry to tell you that your child has been sexually abused. <laughs> Doctor, what the fuck is wrong with him? He's like, right. by me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm learning about sexual Emotional abuse. harm. <laughs> We're getting into all sorts of shit. Sexual now. abuse can make victims feel bad. bad. They might feel helpless because they cannot stop the abuse. They might feel fearful because they are afraid that someone will find out what happened and will reject or punish them. They might feel angry that such a thing happened to them. They might feel guilty if they know what happened was wrong. I feel terrible. I know what happened to you is very frightening. You bit it. Because it is. Mental harm. No, it's not as funny when I started taking the video. Sexual <laughs> abuse can confuse victims. Often they are told by the abuser that sexual contact between them is okay. Sometimes the victims feel good because the abuser is giving them attention. Or they just like it. <laughs> same time they might feel bad if they know what, what if they know that what is happening is wrong feeling good and bad at the same time can be kind of confusing <laughs> no confusion shit can it's keep like a person from tutor. thinking normal i only use the pepper which also has the salt wait they're mixed well it's you know the oh. <laughs> i was so confused we uh, hated of course you were Social harm, sexual Sigh. harm. Here we go. We'll just skip up to sexual harm. Sexual abuse is not normal behavior. It often gives the victim a bad feeling about sexual experiences. This feeling might keep the victim from having a normal sexual relationship. I think sex is a horrible and bad thing, Mom. What happened to you was not normal. It was sexual abuse. Sexual abuse. Is that there sexual abuse? Eight ways yes. That sexual abusers get their victims. I'm okay. To eight ways. Oh, this should be interesting. Whoa. Okay. Eight. Let's see what it is. One. Friendship. Oh fuck. Some sexual abusers act friendly toward their victims. They give their victims attention and affection. In turn, hey, baby. they expect their victims to trust them and to do what they say. <laughs> We're best friends. I want us to do this because we love each other. Love your boots. Oh, I like yeah. how this touch it. Withholding. <laughs> Some sexual abusers are responsible for the care of others. The I like how the sexual abuser is just a black know, They're black and scary. <laughs> scary looking. That's what they look but like. But they're all like <laughs> old ladies too. <laughs> It's just, <laughs> just lots of old ladies raping abused. little kids. Sexually abused. <laughs> Some sexual abusers are responsible for the care of others. The people that they take care of can become their victims. If their victims do not cooperate, the abusers can easily withhold important things that the victims want or need. Do you love me? Why should I love you when you don't do what I want you to do? <laughs> what is love without any play? Right? Bribes. Some sexual abusers bribe their victims. They give their victims <laughs> gifts or they promise to do favors so that Here, you want one of these? This is for you. I yeah. promise. Oh. I'll do you a favor, man. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even say that. Happened. Oh, shit. No, I did sexually abuse you last night. I didn't touch your dick and I'm sorry. I tried to sexually abuse Kev, but I fell asleep. Well, 